Keep your voice. Hey. Yes, sir. I called Greg Walden and Cliff Vance numerous times during that whole ordeal down there, and zero reply. I emailed, um, <coughs> called, and talked to their office staff. I don't know how many number of times, and not a zero, nothing, not a. You and you and unfortunately you won't because they're roundabout right way they are part of that whole problem down there. Correct. And they don't want to, you know, they don't want to talk. You know that. Bring Correct, and I'm going to help you, and I'm going to help you bring them out in the spotlight right now. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up, uh, so we can see who you guys are electing. And the Oregonians, from 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 corner to corner, can start asking these questions. Why did we elect them? How the hell they're still in office? And what are we going to do about it? What we need is thousands of people to shut down the streets of Portland. Okay. What we need is a committee of safety. We need a common law grand jury. We need at least 25 of you to step up. We'll go to the courtroom. We'll get you registered as a common law grand jury. We'll uh, take it to the judge. Uh, we'll move forward from there. But you guys all got to get involved individually. You, can, you can't just sit here and not do nothing. The more you sit here and don't do nothing, the more they get away with. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. We're in Baker County. Hammonds are from Harney County. What can we do in terms of what he just said, being in the county? You Support them. Let them know that you guys are from, from, from the different county, from Josephine County to Grant County to Harney County to, to Mount Here County to Baker County. You guys right here are the voice where we start today through you guys. That's what we can do. Yes? Also, in the courtroom, the judge has started trying to figure out where she's going to be pulling the jurors from. She may pull them from this side of the state. She's not sure. She wants to try to pull them from the Portland area, like from the Multnomah County. And it's something that's been in discussion because in the courtroom, where the crime was committed is where the jurors are supposed to come from, from that county. So they're trying to decide if they're going to pull two from, you know, like Baker County and two from Multnomah County and just two from different counties. I mean, they have to pull several hundred, but they have to be able to weed it out and try to figure out how they're going to get some kind of a fair jury for this trial for Ammon Bundy and the rest of the political prisoners. Well, Anna J. Brown, she's trying to step off the bench right now. She's trying to talk to Miss Glover. Miss Glover is the lady that runs the jury pool that's overseeing this case. So first of all, she shouldn't be coming off the bench and working with Miss Glover. Uh, she has no, no right even in doing that. She should recruit herself from even sitting over the, the case for the simple fact that to this day she still hasn't proved that she's taken an oath of office. She has, no, she has not shown, shown proof that she's registered as a Supreme Court judge. There's no proof of her oath. Just same thing that with the with the Hammonds, uh, she has no oath of office. She all she does is runs her her mouth, but cannot provide a valid, certified oath of office. That's all she can do is just blow hot air, and through her and through her rojo, try to intimidate everyone. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we had an event here, and I know this is not getting them out of prison, but this is helping their families who are left behind, struggling to try and run a ranch without their loved ones, and um, we raised some money, and that was mailed off, and it should be in their bank account today. And also, um, and we heard, you know, that Burns hates them, but when I called the bank to clarify of what I needed to do, they were thrilled that we were doing this. So that's bullpucky when they're saying everybody over there is against them. They're not. Right, and that's where you let Zates, Scott, and Kyle Thank you, ma'am. Thank you guys, especially for being here. But this is what I mean. This is the voice that we need. This is what we need to step up to. This is how we, we the Oregonians, need to come up. You guys are ranchers. It's going to start with you guys. And, and you will have our support. And any, any questions, anything you guys need, let us know. We will be here for you guys. This is why we're here today. This is why I'm here today. So, Steen's Mountain Act. 2006. 
All the, and I read almost every single Steen's Mountain Act you can think of from 2006 to today. And how these co-conspirators started with Stephen E. Grassley. And I tell you, Stephen E. Grassley went in front of Congress in 2002 under Steen's Mountain Act. And it was purposely orchestrating the land grabbing with the BLM, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, and the U.S. Forestry. I'm going to show you his campaign contributions also. And how he got money. And how he, under his titles, because he has about six, seven titles, which is, remember, under Article 1, Section 9, we respect the title of nobility. And Federalist Papers 84. He's using his titles to steal from you guys. Each one of you. Either through, tax, through taxation, or through the Department of BLM, U.S. Forestry, and uh, Department, of, Department of Fish and Wildlife. This is how he's doing it. These are the Steens Mount. These Steen, I, I beg everybody to read the Steens Mountain uh, Committee meetings. These were downloaded. All was started from 2006 to today, and then everything with respect to what Steen, all the committees that, that Stephen E. Grassi participated directly and indirectly, including going to Congress back in front of the Senate in 2002 under the Steens Mountain Act, and also the Grassy Mountain. Grassy Mountain we will touch because Grassy Mountain is extremely important, which has to do with Calico Resource. George Soros, Harry Reid, and why Lavoy was assassinated between uh, Stephen E. Grassley, uh, Brian Bukist, or Bukest. Uh, he, he participated in this assassination with Boyd Britton. Uh, these co-conspirators, including Kate Brown, and everybody, Loretta Lynch, and FBI Jeff Kerm uh, Cormie. I will, those documents are right there. I will provide those documents so you guys can see it for yourself on how the assassination went down and, the, and all the players behind the assassination and the reason why he was assassinated. Because it was an assassination is what it was. So. Can you tell, can you tell us what, who the BLM, what government official office that, that is? The, B, the, B, the Bureau of Land Management is actually a registered corporation. It's not a government agency. And I beg, once you guys understand that, it, that the BLM is, a gov is not a government agency, you'll be scratching yourself, how can we allow this to happen? You're going to be, how, how do we tolerate it? And also, where is it registered? And to who is it registered as in, in the Secretary of State as a corporation? Those are the questions you need to go ask your Secretary of State. She's in Salem. Everybody here, and, and, and tomorrow, everybody from Jessup County, Harney County, Grand County, Meyer County, go over there and start asking these questions. And another group, go down and get to the county recorder's office and say, what in the world is going on? And why is, why, where, were the, where are the patriots we're at? Why is it still registered as a corporation? Because it's not a government land. And then I ask you another question. If it's a private corporation, then how are they being charged under federal law? If anything, they should be charged with trespassing. So, uh, so are, are, are these criminals like Anna J. Brown, what the gentleman said in the back, has something to do with it? Yes, sir, in the back. Yeah, you know, to tie all this together, you guys read your Constitution. There's pamphlets here. Read the Constitution. Get to know it. If you don't know what, what rights you have, how do you know when they're being violated? Yeah, it's true. It's true. There's online classes, you can take online classes. Uh, there's there's uh, so much information out there. And bottom line, you've got to turn off your television. Yes. They, own, they own the media, they direct the narrative. They tell you where to go on vacation, what car to buy, what toy, what's the hot toy for Christmas, stuff like that. You need to turn off your television. Turn on your computer. Computer is, is, has a lot of vast information in there. Everything that's on these tables right here, we found on the, on the computer. They're doing it right in front of our face. Correct. And follow the bills. Fight, follow every public law bill that Ron Wyden has been participating. Greg Wolden, Jeff Merkley, Ron, uh, uh, Boyd Brinson, Stephen E. Grasty. Follow them. Because what makes you sure that what they're doing over there in Grand Carney and why you think they want to go after Palmer is not going to say they're going to go to Grand County and then by the time they get done with Grand County, they're going to go to Malheur County. Which, which they're already doing it with Andy Bentz and Cliff Bentz under, under, and, a ben, and a Bent Solution LLC. Then after they get done with that, what are the probabilities they're coming to Baker County? Yes. We already know what's happening in Joseph E. County. They are coming to Baker County next. Mm -hmm. 
So, so all, it's gonna take you guys. It's gonna take. It's gonna take a lot of energy. It's gonna take a lot of effort because at the end of the day, what are you guys gonna leave for your children? Yeah. So, these are the bills. <coughs> I want to make sure that you guys understand that these bills right here are actually public laws that they passed. Everybody I mentioned to defraud you guys. Now let's continue saying defraud. Because at the end of the day, fraud has no statute of limitations. And you actually can go ahead and start a common law grand jury of 25, ju of 25 jurors, 10 alternates, and at the same time, go get it, go get it registered in the county recorder's office and go to the clerk and submit that there too. Go to your sheriff. Make sure your sheriff is a constitutional sheriff that's willing to support you, like a Sheriff Palmer. To willing to support your constitutional rights, your children's constitutional rights. So if you do not have a constitutional right, then it's time for you guys to start doing a recall. And I mean today. Get as many signatures as you can and remove them. And you look for yourself a constitutional sheriff. And once you have that constitutional sheriff, that constitutional sheriff can take it upon himself and deputize as many people as he wants to go after these criminals that pass these unconstitutional laws that are defrauding you guys. And including the corporations like Uranium One, Calico Resource, Iron Triangle, Boy, uh, Brent's uh, Solution LLC. Uh, and they're doing it. And, uh, and like I said, they're using Les Zates, Scott Acoster, Linden Zates, and a whole lot of people to change the narrative. Because remember, they got a conflict of interest where they're profiting by the, through the BLM. And this are the laws, unconstitutional laws that they passed.